Okay, thank you very much for, for having me. Um, I feel really awesome for having done well in the in the first lap of the interview. So <laughs> yeah, it yeah. all started while I was working at Maung. That was my initial post as a nurse. I was just a general nurse. So I was uh, one of the team members for blood donation. And there comes a point where we had to go to a certain junior school. And the junior school was well known for uh, the children who are not behaving well. And nobody wanted to go to that junior school. And you know what? I just chose to, to go there myself. When I go to that school, the teachers will be like, I, they won't listen to you. I told them they will. They will be like, why will they listen to you? By then I was I was tiny in body. And they said, why will they listen to you? I said, no, let's just do it. They just crowded the, the students around the assembly area and I was there. You know what? Those kids listened. And from that day, from that day, that's when I I knew very well that it's about how you use your words. Some people are out there and they're wounded and they keep on behaving in wild ways, not because that not because they are not good, because they need somebody to, to come forth to them and use better words, different words. And from that day, I started honoring words. I started honoring the power of words. And I started going around junior school. Wherever there was a problem in any school where I was at Maung, they will call me and I will arrest, I will arrest the situation. Then I was I was transferred to Kanye, which happens to be my home village in 20, 2015, 2016. And I said, I, I am going to be that person who will always use positive words to impact other people in my society. Because then you'll find more people saying, I'm frustrated, this is happening in my life, my kids are not listening to me this is wrong my relationship is with... people have different different ills right now and since then i will go to i, I was always volunteering i'll go to this school talk to the parents talk to students at at no cost at one point if I can give you an example of the people that I've met, uh, there's this other woman who said, you know what, Nakana, I'm always overthinking. Even the smallest things I overthink, I'd be like, oh, okay. Then I set myself down. But how can somebody avoid overthinking situations? Be like, after all, you need to come to a point whereby you postpone this thinking you have that inner thing that can make you postpone that thinking for some other time. That woman was like, is that practical? I said, yes, yes. Before you overthink, gather the facts. That's what I told her, gather the facts. Always make sure that before you overthink, before you take decisions, gather facts before you can even take decisions that normally are not good to you and the people that are around you. Like, this woman get healed that time. I knew words can heal. And it's not about the situation that you are going through. It's about, it's about your response towards that decision. Because I think life is about experiences. It's about every day you meet this person, you need to get experience from that person. Tomorrow you, you've met another person, you get experience from that other person as well. So I, I've been telling my community that it's not about what people are doing to me. It's about how I'm responding to what they are doing to me. You know, And more, more people start to 
to hear what I'm saying. And I see people changing the way they've been doing things. I see people viewing themselves in a different way. Because as I go around, I realize that some people have got to a point whereby uh, they feel uh, they're powerless and they feel they're not worthy. They don't even love themselves. And I have I have empowered such people to a point that they will end up looking things in a different way. And uh only because of the words, just just the use of words. And it's about the use of words. Which what kind of words are you using? And are you authentic? You the user of those words. Are you authentic enough? Are you true? Are you are you true to, to the words that we are saying? At one point, we tend to, to, to say things that we maybe read from books and we don't own the actual words. So as you say out those words, are you owning them? Can you make the next person to feel the words that you are saying? Can you make them feel that what you are saying is practical?